My head becomes my shoulder. Okay, think about that for a second. My head becomes my shoulder. Yeah, I'm a funny looking dude now. No, my head shoulder was holding his head down. I've now slipped it to my, his ear so I can reach further. So I need to still hold his head down. So my head becomes that. My head holds the shoulder here. I drive like a high crotch. I just shoot a high crotch. Everything's tight. I'm in my stance. I'm starting to lose them here. He drags up, drags up, drags up. This guy who went to the Olympics with uh, Matt wrestled for us in Vancouver. And I used to do this new one every single day for three years. I started calling it the Travis Cross. <laughs> I didn't like that very much, but I thought it was funny. Okay, so I would do this move to him all the time. The reason I could get him on it wasn't because I was bigger and stronger and older. I had tricks on him and I'd beaten him up since he was 12, so I had the big brother thing on him. Those are all factors, but the major factor was he had really good defense. Anytime time he snapped him down, he did this. I snapped him down, he'd do that, even in technique. He was good at that, but I was an anticipator, so as soon as he was going there, I started going here. Okay, so through anticipation, I looked fast, and I used to get him on all the time. The problem was, he was a you know world class wrestler, so he eventually caught on. I was going by like he pulled that one way back, and I was still here. I had single one, so I called that Travis Cross two. <laughs> I called it Cross Cross. Go for this one. He pulled it back. Boom! Right there. No different than what we're doing on our feet today. Take this one, take that one. The big thing is I gotta change the direction. Because when I reach for this one, he's on one leg. So all I really gotta do is drive. Right there, I pinch him on his leg. Like a cross ankle pick. So that's far knee, that's far knee, near ankle. And then I've also, this is my favorite, is when I suck one here, I get that leg coming forward. And I get, that's a cross, simple cross ankle pick. Nothing to this one. It's hard to get because you got to get the angle. But I pull him as he's stepping. I, you know when that foot's in the air, it's got to come down, right? Nobody wrestles like this. So as it's in the air, I know it's coming down. I jam. I can almost take him down without using my hands. As it's in the air, I change the direction. I jam him so he lands on his foot like this. As he does that, my head comes in his ribs. I shoot a high drive. Where's that? Incredible. Six points now. Okay. Next one, this guy wants his head up really, really bad. And this guy is relentless on me, and I hope you guys realize now he's not as nice of a guy as I said yesterday. Bringing up Joe Romero's not nice, you know. Yeah. yeah. He beat me at the Olympic Games. Who would talk about someone's biggest defeats like that? Well, Joe Romero's the kind of guy, if he was born in America and he did get put in prison, He's probably playing for the Dallas Cowboys. He's just, he's a real athlete. Like, you hear the burrows in there. <laughs> but when I got a headlock on him, it felt like I was getting thrown around by a, by a horse. Okay? And I wrestled a few guys like that. I could try to pull that head down all day, and he's not going down. He wants it up. The guy wants it up bad enough, you can release it. Don't release it unless it's on your terms. We'll see this all the time. And I get really mad when I see my guys do this. Front hand, front hand. That's a lot of work. Okay. I just let him out. Not only did I let him out, I reached up to his head, I'm pretty sure he's going to power under me. So if he wants it up, I'm going to guide it. He wants it up right here. I got my cross right there. I let his head up on my terms. If he wants it up this side, I'm going to pull him here. I'm going to either hit a single left, or at least I didn't hit a single leg. Okay? I like to, on this side, I like to release it like this. We'll get into our trip, which we're going to talk about later tomorrow. In our trick session. But standard here, he wants it up. My elbow's still in here, and I'm just releasing it here. And I'm shoving this arm. As I release it, shove this arm, I get low. Look how I fill, fill that space with my shoulder so he can't come back on me. I got double or high crotch right there. The only thing I want to add is every single one of these, I feel a pressure here. No matter what, no matter what Justin's doing here, I feel this pressure here. Here, no matter if, it's, if I'm dropping into here, because that pressure was pulling me, or pulling, right, in this, this case, no, Justin, that's what's pulling him out of position. Here, a guy that's, that's real strong, he's got his base under him right here, like this, or like, even if your head's down, you got your weight under your feet. I can't do this. I gotta pull him out. Now I can pull through. So, the same thing, doesn't matter which cross, the Travis Cross 2, whatever it is, whether I'm guiding him here, I'm right now, I'm still putting weight 
on here. As I release it, he's forcing it up. I actually rotate, rotate, rotate. Here, here, but here, I still got the weight. As it's going, boom, it's straight into it. When he does this to me, one of the things, even though I know exactly what move he's doing to me, just that extra pressure he puts on my hand right here makes me want to overreact up. And he just releases it at the same time. I see a lot of kids do this. They come here and they go like this. Well, they let go of the head. There. There's not enough, not enough pressure. I'm, I'm releasing it, but he's doing all the work. He's forcing it up. He's forcing it up. I'm just kind of letting it slide up right here. But all my weight's down, so then when it does happen, it's ready to drive through. I'm not doing this and in. A lot of the principles on this are the same as what they are with our text. I'm not creating a lot of that pressure by securing my head, but really by moving its feet. I'm underneath there and getting pretty tired. Of yeah, think about it. Because I'm just trying to, I mean, he's constantly, even though he's talking, he's not expanding energy. I'm doing this. And it's not much fun. That's why we have the arms up here this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're on the actually, you guys got an AED in here? <laughs> anyway, actually, here's another drill I do right here. Is I get them right here, and I say, you got to extend your feet. i got to bring it down. There's nobody, nobody's tricking. You're not trying to clear the head. I'm not really trying to score. All I'm doing is working on getting this pressure and staying, staying like, like, a, like a dog on a bone. I'm just staying, pulling, 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 pulling. <laughs> So it forces me, guys, they get here and they hang out. I used to do it a ton. I hang here. He's got no weight on him. I gotta be working. I gotta be pulling. I'm making him carry my weight. I'm putting my weight. I'm driving my weight through the shoulder in the holder. So it doesn't it. feel like 160 pounds. Yeah. It feels like more than that. Ouch. 300? It doesn't feel quite like 300, but it feels like a lot. We kind of breeze through the front headlock quickly, which I'm not sure if we did it justice because we're saying it's one of the most important things, but it is simple. Make that person carry your weight, keep your feet moving, looking for an angle, controlling both ends. And most important, you're always, you want his weight forward on his hands, elbows, eventually his head. You want his head weight on his hands, then his elbows and his head. Yeah. Is there any questions on this? I don't want to play, play by this and make it seem like it's not important. 